What's up everybody? In this episode, we're gonna cover the baddest bolt-on motor kit you can buy, the Socian FW01. Let's go. Some things I'm gonna cover in this episode, y'all. Stick around for this one, this is gonna be good. We're gonna go over the Socian FW01 motor kit. So this kit comes as a bolt-on solution to our razors for big power out of the box. What I'm gonna cover in this video is we're gonna get it on the Draggy. I have a Draggy approved course right behind me. We're gonna measure our 330 foot and our 660 foot distances with this motor. And a little bit about the battery. The battery in here, is one I use often. It's an Amridge battery. It's 72 volts, 240 continuous, and it's a 40 amp hour battery. That's from Amridge. The controller, you can get these controllers from Econic Cycles. And if you use Voltron 5 at checkout, you get 5% off. The controller in here is a Far Driver 96680. So if you're looking to build something comparable, that's what these parts are. That's where you get them. All right, guys, so starting from the, the front here, uh, like I said, this whole kit comes in the box as a bolt-on solution. This is probably a prototype. The version, if you decide to buy a kit like this, is probably not gonna look like this because there were some changes made after I got mine and some other members in the community and we requested some changes be made. On my kit right now, I am running a 280 millimeter fast ace shock. You can get these shocks on Amazon. They're about 140 bucks. If you're interested, I'll link in the description below for these but it's a fast A shock, 280 millimeters. The kit comes with the motor, obviously. It comes with the motor, it comes with the swing arm. So this whole part right here, the swing arm, it's included. The motor, the chain, and the sprockets are all included. And just so you know, the gearing on this is an 11 tooth front. It's a 52 tooth rear, okay? And it's a 420 chain. Also included with this is the wheel. So the rim and the tire, this whole assembly. On this side of the bike, it comes with the brake. So it comes with the disc and it comes with the caliper. The caliper also has a pre-bled lever already attached to it. So it's got the line and it's got a lever up there at the front, already attached, already bled. Basically the only thing you have to do, hopefully with the new version that's coming out, is unbolt it, bolt in your new one, put your shock in, extend your phase wires, hook up your motor to the connection to the controller and you got a, you got a bolt-on kit that's probably the most powerful kit on the market at the time of recording this video. So with my kit, I don't wanna spend a ton of time going over what I had to do to make mine work because Socian is making changes based on the feedback from the community on this kit every day, it seems like. A couple things I had to do differently. I had to go to Home Depot and buy different bolts to go in here to bolt the swing arm to the frame, no big deal. I had to open up the Woo! hole in this grommet on the inside of the swing arm in order to make the the hole big enough to accept the bolt. There's a, there's, a, there's a threaded tube or a sleeve inside here at the main frame. One thing I had to do there, another thing I had to do was I had to notch the swing arm mount here for the shock to accept the shock at this angle. The new revised version is going to have a shock mount that's gonna come out and come down like this. Uh, and I'll have a picture of it here for you so that you can have different shocks and you can kind of pick your angle as where you want your, your ride to be uh, as far as your shock length. And, uh, and you can have a, a, a choice of shocks that are wide ranging as opposed to just the one attachment point that we have here. Everything else other than that guys was pretty bolt on. Like I said, the next versions are just gonna keep getting better and better and more intuitive. And, but the work that I had to put into in order to put this power plant in this bike was very minimal. If you have basic hand tools and you got this kit just the way that it is, I am quite certain that 95% of you watching this right now could probably bolt this up as it is right now. But anyway, enough blabbing. Let's get this thing on the draggy test strip behind me. We're gonna do three runs. We're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully I can get my times in the sixes. I think we'll be okay. I'm not bullshitting you. I haven't pre-gamed any of this. I haven't even recorded it yet. So you'll find out as I find out what the times are in the draggy and the top speed. Let's go. All right guys, so what I've done, behind me here, I have a draggy approved strip. I walk out the length of the strip from start to 330 feet. I make a mark, I move out, I walk another 330 feet, I mark 660 feet, that's the eighth mile. Those are the two times that I'm looking to capture on the draggy.
Let's see if we get that six to the uh, 6.0. Let's go back and do it again. Okay, right, so there's three draggy runs. What I want to do, I'm not going to call it quits in the draggy yet. I want to go home. I'm going to charge the bike back up, top it off, make a couple changes to the controller. I really want that draggy number for the 330 foot distance to be six flat. I think the best we were able to accomplish was 6.1 or something like that, one tenth of a second. Uh, that can be remedied on the takeoff or, you know, obviously the speed. But anyway, that's what I want to do. I want to go charge it back up, come back out here for a fourth round. I want to see what it can do. And after that, we will get down to the top speed run. Let's go. All right, guys, it's the next day. I really want this number for the 330 foot to start with the five. Let's put the draggy on, let's get the GoPro going. Let's see what we get. All right, guys, this is our starting line. I got 330 feet, 660 feet marked down there. I got the draggy all set up right here. Let's go. Well, I've got good news and I got bad news. The good news is the zero to 330 feet was at 6.04, which is a phenomenal time. Uh, I, was, I was hoping for that five, but it is what it is. I'll get, I got some street tires on order. I think I can get that, uh, that 0 0.04 knocked off. The bad news is I whiskey throttled this shit out of the bike on one of the launches. sent it into a ditch and broke my draggy. So our top speed run is just gonna have to be done on the GPS via my GoPro. The bike's not in too bad a shape after the ditch. So broke the lever here. This is my rear brake. The grip got torn up a little bit. Lucky for me, no damage to the battery. On these earlier versions of the Amridge batteries, they didn't have a metal case yet. So this is just like a plexiglass inside here, but no damage there. Got the seat torn up. Yeah, well, whatever. And I'm not very happy about banging up my brand new swing arm. That kind of blows. But overall, the damage is minimal. Let's go do our speed test. Anyway, it is what it is. It's for science. So there will be sacrifices. Let's go do the speed run. Right. Top speed run, boys. Let's see what we get. Hope you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, Through the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I ain't right pain You never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient So 75 on the recorded app Via the phone Part of me doesn't want to go any faster but there's a part of me that does if that makes any sense so in future videos i'm gonna put the 96 volt battery in here 300 301 302 we're gonna upgrade the controller and we're gonna see about getting into the 80s maybe the 90s uh and we'll just see where it leads us uh yeah i don't know what i'm doing this is crazy whatever it's fun so i'm gonna keep doing it all right guys stay tuned for future episodes where i put the Soshin fw01 through a 96 volt system i have a 96 volt battery at home like i said and i also am going to upgrade the controller to a Soshin provided 96 volt capable controller we're going to see what kind of gains we can get on the top speed and our eighth mile run that we just did behind me so Stay tuned for that. A couple thanks and shout outs to Jordan Davis from E-Force Motors and Controllers for setting me up with the tune on this bike. I'll be contacting you again in the future to see if we can get this thing dialed in even more, which I know that we can. And last but not least, I wanna thank Soshin for sending me the product and allowing me to write the review and shoot this video for you guys, genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for entrusting me and doing that. It means a ton. Until next week, guys, thanks a lot. Bye.